So in the video we did yesterday about vacuum tuning or tuning with the vacuum gauge, I brought up the point about vacuum advance should always be hooked to ported rather than manifold vacuum. And naturally it spurred a little bit of a debate. And I thought maybe I should clarify that and make it obvious my reasoning for this with a demonstration. So we set up our vacuum hose thing again. Um, but before I do that, let's clarify some terms. First things first is that vacuum advance has nothing to do with performance. If you're focusing on only the performance aspects of your car, leave it off, leave the vacuum line off, or don't, you know, don't put a distributor in it that has vacuum advance. <laughs> High performance and race distributors have no vacuum advance. Real race distributors are completely locked out. There's no advance at all. Street strip uh, distributors will have some mechanical advance, but it's usually limited to like 10 to 15 degrees and only to make it easy to start the car when it's hot. But for performance purposes, no vacuum advance. The purpose of a vacuum advance, well, what it does is it aids in part throttle, light load, fuel economy, and drivability. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you on this distributor, stock distributor, uh, well, it's got a Protronics on it, but it's, it's otherwise a stock distributor with stock vacuum advance canister. And I'm going to show you the difference between ported and manifold, and then you can make up your own mind on, on which works better. Now, keep in mind this. Ported or manifold, they'll function pretty much exactly the same as intended. Out on a highway, let's say, backing off the throttle, uh, light they'll bring all of the timing in and, and they'll function pretty much the same. It's your off idle or, 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 or breakaway performance where the difference is. So right now I've got the vacuum line here hooked to manifold vacuum, to the manifold vacuum port on the carburetor. Let's take this thing for a ride and I'll show you what goes on. Okay, so as I said, it's up to manifold right now. Now you see, as soon as we started it, it's getting vacuum. Right, I'll pop the vacuum line off and you can see the difference in motion. Okay. Now watch what happens when we, we pull away. Now this is going to be like on a typical, let's say, traffic situation or uh, let's say pulling onto an on-ramp. You know, when, when your part throttle performance is important. Now watch, it's, it's got all of its advance dialed in right now, but watch when we accelerate. The very first thing it does, as soon as you touch the gas, is back off the timing. It's retarding the timing when your engine needs it the most. Here, watch again. And now as I back off on the throttle, now it advances. Okay, so now I'm going to turn around. Okay. Well, let me let me switch the lines. See how fast we can do this. Okay, so now it's hooked to ported. And we'll see, we're gonna pop the vacuum line off and it doesn't move, all right? So right now we're idling only on our initial advance. Okay. Light throttle, it advances it a little bit. It's a little loose here. Let me drive to where the pavement is. Uh solid okay so now we're going to accelerate the same way now watch remember there's no advance in it right now it's not moving okay, okay. so right now the engine is getting full advance 
And as we back off the throttle, it starts to bring in the advance. So basically what's happening is, hooked to manifold vacuum, the distributor is doing the exact opposite of what you wanted to do for performance. It's taking the initial, it's taking the initial timing plus the vacuum timing that's dialed in as soon as you start the engine and it's removing it as soon as you hit the throttle. When you've got a supported vacuum, when you hit the throttle, an accelerate, it's got all the timing that you put in and then as you come off the throttle, it'll advance and give you that part throttle economy and drivability. That's it in a nutshell. There's plenty of debates. I know I, I, I went and I read guys in the comments left links for people writing treatises on why it's got to be manifold vacuum or why it's going to be ported vacuum. But there it is. There's the demonstration. When it's hooked to manifold vacuum, it works opposite of how you want your ignition advance to work. When it's hooked to ported, it works for that specifically for that part throttle drivability deal. That's it. Hope you got something out of that. I'll see you tomorrow.